Last video, I announced that I'm going to be hosting another tournament on July 3rd. But what I didn't tell you is the location. On that note, the second bass fishing tournament that I'm hosting this year will be hosted at Henry Hag Lake. Now I know this is kind of a controversial spot. Half the people I talk to really like Hag and would love to do a tournament there. And half the people I talk to have never got a bite there. And it's just a tough place to fish. You gotta, you gotta keep in mind that when I'm picking a spot for a tournament, I have to think of parking, I have to think of bank access, and I have to think of boat access. And this is one of the few places that really fit that description. The next video will be a detailed video talking about how this tournament's gonna be run. It's gonna be a little different than the last one. Hopefully it will go even better. But for now, enjoy this video where I meet up with stones fishing and do a little coastal fishing. All right, we got the biggest Oregon real fishing, stones fishing collab yet. Look at this. This looks juicy. The dual tail. That looks so nice. That's amazing. Yeah. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. it. You know, it's fun trying to put four pieces of rod together and get them all straight. I love this rod. I mean, the sensitivity is great. It's made for surf fishing. I'm going to go link cod today. I got 20 pound line on the reel. The reel is massive. It's so weird throwing massive baits like this, bro. It's, it's insane. You had one job, dude. Don't drop the sandworms. That's your one job. You need me to put them in my backpack? I won't be dropping them. <laughs> okay, if you catch a if you catch a surf perch, I'll let you bury me in the sand. <laughs> See all these little crabs, bro? Just got a sand crab, dude. Sheesh. This is why the perch come up so shallow. A little sand crab <laughs> and when the water was going out you could see all of them going out there were a hundred of them really? and that's why the perch come up so close that's why when you see these that's a good sign it means there's probably perch over here okay. like this is a, a really Can good I place really? to start huh really? uh yeah whenever you want i mean leave it there for a couple minutes and then reel it in but look he's just gonna bury himself in the sand Dude, that's sick. it's sick and there's I'm telling you, there's thousands along this beach. Yeah. I just saw like 50 or 100 of them. So at this point, we were getting pretty desperate. We'd gone to three spots already and didn't get a single bite. We tried different baits, different rigs. Nothing was working. We made the decision to drive all the way back to Salem and hit up a pond that I've been catching a lot of good large mouths at. And this is what happened. Well, fast forward like literally the entire day, we are all the way in Silverton from the coast. Coast was a bust. We're just, uh, we're that determined to get fish. We're willing to travel that far. Just absolutely launch it down that hill. I mean, it's so easy. I'm on, dude. I'm on on the jerk bait. Yeah. Jerk fish. Oh, yeah. Feels pretty good. Dude, it feels really good. This is big. This is big, dude. Well, it's not huge. A couple pounds. Woo! Kind of nose hooked him, but. We'll take it, we'll take it. Don't come off, I totally foul hooked him, bro. Woo! A pound and a half or, about a pound and a half probably. Beautiful fish, I gotta get a picture. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't stay at the coast. And there she goes. Get out of here. Okay, that extra splash was unnecessary. Oh, 
fish. Come on. Dude, it's peeling. It's peeling drag. How big is this? It's not bad. He's just strong for his size, bro. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's relax. Oh yeah, not bad. Dude, these fish have got some teeth. Sheesh. Trying to rip my thumb up. He's doing a good job. 2.6. Great fish. 2.6 pound of weight in at 2.6. Oh, I'm on. Jerkbait fish. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm on. I don't even think you can hear me. Dude, I freaking love jerkbait fish. There's nothing like them. Yeah, on the jerkbait. Yeah, it's not bad. Good fish, good fish. Woo -woo. Dude, it's a nice one. It's a football. It's a football. Oh my gosh. It might go three. Yeah, it's gotta be close to three. There we go. Look at that chunk. Chunk of a largemouth, bro. 3.05. Solid three pounder. Great fish, healthy fish. Jerkbait fish. Get him back. Oh man, she was ready. She was ready. I was gonna give it a slow release because uh, it seemed kind of worn out, but bro. She did not want a slow release, she wanted to go. I love jerk bait fish, dude. There's, there's nothing like it. I think it's my new favorite bait. Last second fish right here, we were about to head out. Riley just got an absolute tug. Looks pretty good. Dude, like that was literally probably gonna be the last cast. Hold him way out. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Good? Yeah. Sick, dude. Good, man. It's awesome. Five landed fish. It's a good day. Five landed for you, right? Yeah. I had three. Eight fish total. That's, pr that's a pretty good day. Just now realized in the editing that I did not film an outro out in the water. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video that is going to be explaining how the tournament is going to be run. And mark it on your calendars. Make sure you can come out. I know it's right by a holiday, so a lot of people might be out of town. But I encourage you to come out if you can make it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you on the next one.